Hey guys, so I don't have a project to show you, but I do have something I want to talk to you about, and I think it's something you'll be interested in. It's called uh, the DigiX, and it's by a company called DigiStump. Um, they came up with the DigiSpark not so long ago, and it was a Kickstarter funded project, just like this one is. Um, the DigiSpark was this tiny, like thumb sized Arduino board that plugs directly into USB. Uh, and it's got, I don't know, I think it's like six input output pins, but it, it's very cheap. Uh, I think it's sub $10, so it's like really, really cheap. Uh, but this DigiX is the newest one they've come up with, and uh, it's got a lot going on. And it's very cheap, I think, in comparison to the official boards anyway. Now, the great thing about the DigiX, it's got Wi-Fi built in, um, and it also has the processing on there, so it does the TCIP stack and it's got a processor on it, so it takes the it takes the weight off the Arduino, so you can use that to run any code. But it does have a 32-bit, 84 megahertz chip on it, which is insane. Uh, that's really, really good, I think. Uh, it's also got, uh, in fact, let me let me just consult the sheet. I've written a load of notes here. One of the cool things about the Wi-Fi is that you can communicate with it via serial, so you don't have to use a library. There are going to be simple libraries available, so I'm aware from the information that they've put out there, it looks like there is going to be. Uh, but you can communicate it with it over serial, so it's really, really easy to, to interface. It has 99 I.O. pins, 99, which is amazing. There was a, a thing on Twitter, I think, or an article somewhere, and it was, I've got 99 problems, but an I.O. pin isn't one, which is pretty good. Uh, it's got micro SD card built in, it's got uh, USB OTG, which is essentially USB host, which, uh, which means you can plug USB devices into it. So you could, have, you could plug in a keyboard or a mouse and take input from those. But you can also use it and plug it into a computer and have it act as a human interface device, just like you can with the, the Leonardo, which is this thing here. I've got one of those. And that's been really useful. It has 12 analog pins, it's got four UARTs, it's got SPI, ITC, it's got a CAN bus, I'm not sure what that is. Um, I looked it up a bit, but I don't think I really understand how that would be useful to me. Uh, it looks like it communicates with various devices at about one megabit per second. The ODB2 uh, thing that you get in cars communicates on the same thing, so it might be useful for people with that. It has two digital analog converters on board, and it also has an audio out as well, which is pretty good, and it can play audio directly from the onboard micro SD, which is pretty awesome. Another great thing is it has onboard wireless radio, all radios wireless, I guess, but it has onboard uh, NRF24 uh, LO1, I think that's the, the thing, I'll have to look it up if I'm, I'll put it in the description just in case I got that wrong. But it has that on board so that you can connect to other devices with those transceivers, which is pretty awesome. Um, I'm unsure if you can reprogram uh, the DigiX wirelessly. I'm sure it's probably possible. I'm sure they've thought about that. The power requirements for the DigiX are pretty good as well. You can use 3.3 volts um, and you can use 3.3 to 5.4 as well input. So it's kind of lithium polymer ready really, so you could easily use that. Now the output on it is pretty darn awesome too, and it blows away the other boards. Uh, it can kick out one amp, which is pretty awesome, uh, at 3.3 volts or at 5 volts, but you'd need to have an input higher than 5 volts in order to get 5 volts at one amp out. The DigiX was created by a guy called uh, Eric Kettenberg, I believe, and he works for Digistone. Him and his wife set it up. They, um, they live in Portland in America and uh, they've done a few Kickstarter projects already. And he's also a backer of Kickstarter projects as well. I checked his profile out online, so you can have a look. Uh, but it seems like it's a really nice little company, so it'd be great if you could support them. They got about 200% of what they were asking for on Kickstarter, so it's definitely going into production. I didn't get it on Kickstarter. I pre-ordered it from their website, which is digistump.com. So go and have a look, I'm sure you'll find it very interesting. The DigiX is compatible with uh, the Arduino Duo, uh, or Duo, I'm still not sure. It's compatible with that, so it's compatible with all the shields that are available for that, and it's also compatible with the IDE, the code in the IDE, so the board code is, is compatible. There's no, you don't need to change anything, it all works straight out of the box. They do sell a level shifter, um, which takes the 3.3 volt levels coming out of the board, the same as the Duo, uh, 
and it converts it to 5 volts so that all the shields on some of the classic Arduino, some of the older ones. Um, and I bought that as well. That was uh, an extra $15, I think. So in total, the whole thing ended up costing me $80. But if you go for English money, which I tend to, it was about 51, 52 quid, which I think is pretty reasonable. So it's a pretty cool board um, and it's pretty cheap. Uh, you can find, there's a link here, so you can just click right on that there and go straight to their website and take a look at uh, uh, their stuff. They've done a video about this board as well, but I wanted to spread it to you guys so that you could have a look. Thought you might be interested, and hopefully, if you are interested, please spread the link out to other people. Don't bother spreading this video because it's not a great explanation. They've got a video on their website which is really good, so go and take a look at that. Um, and when I get it, I will do a little tutorial on it, show you what it looks like. We'll do an unboxing. Everyone loves an unboxing, don't they? Um, I'm also getting their Digi Spark as well, so I'll, uh, I'll bust that out when I get it too and show you all. All right, well, thanks a lot for listening, guys. And uh, I'd love to hear your comments on the new board that I'm going to be getting, and you should get too. So uh, let me know. All right, bye.